providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance. We now present The Onion Explains, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict began in the wake of the devastating violence of World War II, when international leaders came to the sudden realization that the world no longer had a non-stop carnage-filled conflict with which to entertain itself, and decided that the best course of action would be to lock Israelis and Palestinians in bloody, unrelenting combat for their own amusement. Global leaders worked tirelessly to engineer a conflict so intractable that it could last indefinitely with a near constant stream of entertaining destruction for many generations to come. The UN's plan has been so successful that it has resulted in some of the most thoroughly enjoyable displays of ideological bloodshed the world has ever seen, including the edge-of-your-seat fun of the Six-Day War, the non-stop satisfaction of the First Intifada, and the widely beloved series of Jerusalem bus bombings. While the conflict has raged for almost three quarters of a century, both Israelis and Palestinians actually favor an identical solution for ending hostilities. Israeli and Palestinian leaders have made it clear that they see eye to eye on virtually every facet of the proposed solution, including such provisions as seizing all territory, watching the opposition burn in righteous fire, and building a unified nation on the corpses of the enemy and yet they still haven't come any closer to putting a stop to the conflict. However, many Israelis and Palestinians remain hopeful that significant breakthroughs in recent years could mean that their mutual goal of total annihilation of the other side will be realized within their lifetimes. Given the lengthy and brutal history between the two rivals, there will never be peace in the region. But hey, that doesn't mean Palestinians and Israelis shouldn't try. Everyone needs something that gives them a sense of purpose. And if getting together every once in a while to have a chat about ending their fighting is what's going to give Israelis and Palestinians a reason to roll out of bed, then that's just great. Taking up rollerblading, building a ship in a bottle, negotiating a ceasefire built on 1967 borders. All of these are wonderful ways to keep yourself active and healthy. And it doesn't matter if the ceasefire fails to hold and hundreds and hundreds more innocent people die. Because you know what? You tried. And that's what really matters. So forget about the ingrained hate and bloodlust and just be you, Palestinians and Israelis. You're doing a great job and we couldn't be prouder of both of you.